Hi Sagittarius, welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to those of you who are new. Thanks so much for being here. This reading is about you and them and them can be anybody. It can be romantic, family, friends, co-workers, anybody at all. All right, you'll uh, be able to pick up on it as the reading goes along. Now this first group of cards we're taking is just to let you know who this might be about, okay? Certain characteristics they might have. It doesn't have to, but it might be of an aid to you. But I think the biggest aid to you is whoever it is that you're thinking about a lot or you're dealing with a lot, who's on your mind a lot, you know, something that you're focused on. That is most likely who this is. And, you know, you can switch places, and it might be somebody else. But I guess what you should do is, if this doesn't resonate with you, please try one of your other placements, okay? And definitely only take with you what resonates. Okay, let's see what we have here. Orphan. Okay, let's get another and then we'll talk about these for a second. Native American. And lessons and blessings. Okay, so these are three potential characteristics that whoever it is that is them might have. And they're pretty self-explanatory, but somebody who has been potentially orphaned at some point in their life, and that usually happens in childhood, but it could happen any time. And then the Native American is somebody who either has Native American heritage, is involved with Native Americans in some way, lives by them, interacts with them. And lessons and blessings, somebody who has been through their share of lessons and blessings, okay? So it could be anything about these three characteristics, but it doesn't have to be, all right? So, oh, no, let's start here. Let's get the overall energy for this reading to see what it has to share. And this, so far, I found out during this group of readings, it really gives us a big clue as to what's going on or who it might be around. Okay, here we go. This is, to me, probably the best card in this deck. I love you. These are powerful words. So this is absolutely beautiful. What a wonderful energy to get. Okay, now let's go ahead and get a tarot to go with that. Yeah, so this looks wonderful. That doesn't mean there hasn't been hardships or challenges, but the I love you comes, you know, like from the depth of your being and or their being. Oops. So... Let's see what we get. Time to take a rest. That's what that is. It's either time for reflection. Um, you know, it's taking time for you, but this is overall, so it's for both of you time for you guys to potentially just spend quality time together without all the hardships and worries of everyday life. You know, maybe take a vacation, spend time together, just enjoying each other's company, okay? So that's really quite nice. And also with this particular energy, if there are any problems, this is a good time to contemplate those, you know, figure something out. All right, now let's get an oracle card for your energy. 
their energy and how you and them interact. You know, how your relationship might possibly be. And remember, them could be a group, say your co-workers, or it could be one person. It's all, you know, what's going on with you and who you feel this is about. Okay, your energy, nothing will come of this situation. And so that can either have a positive or a challenging energy with it. We might, depending on the other cards, need to get another card. Okay, say uh, an example would be, say you're in a big argument with whoever this is. This could be very positive by saying, you know, nothing's going to come of it. It's just one of those things that happens. And um, say if you're trying to get a job, for example, and it doesn't, you know, you're waiting and it doesn't seem to come through, you know, that, that could be more of the challenging kind. But having said that, oftentimes those are blessings in disguise, okay? And their energy is, what do you need to release? Okay, and now let's get one for how you two are together. I say you two, and remember, this could be you and one other, or you and any number of people. Depends. Like, work might be your relationship with the people at work. Hold your vision. That is a very nice energy. What this is saying is what you perceive or what you want to happen, there is a very strong chance of it happening. So don't let go of that vision. And at the bottom of the deck, it's telling you, look at the bigger picture. Okay? And if you notice, here's an arrow, right? Bow and arrow. And, of course, people think of that as having to do with love. So it could, definitely. I know this card right here, the overall card, would be a very good indicator. But it doesn't have to be. It's love in general. Okay, so let's get a tarot card for your energy. Okay, you have the Page of Pentacles, and this is talking about you being ready to start something new, something that's going to bring in the abundance that you want. And abundance, of course, can have different meanings for different people. Um, it could be literally finances, so that could have to do with work, but it is wanting to get something started. And it's with. Nothing will come from this situation. Let's see what their energy is. That's a really nice energy. They have the Ace of Wands. So this is saying they're ready to get something started that they are really passionate about. Okay? Now what do they need to release? And I would say probably what this is saying, my card is behaving funny. <laughs> there it goes. What do they need to release? Probably holding themselves back. Because this is a new beginning. One that they feel very passionate about. Okay? So inhibitions. Um, usually this would come from self. Right? Themselves. Doubts. Can they do this? Will they be effective? Will it be profitable? Will it be well received? All those types of questions probably is, you know, what they need to release and just go for it. Go for their passion. And now here is the two of you together. Hold your vision. What you guys are wanting, it's saying definitely can come into being, but you have to hold that vision, you know, through thick and thin, right? Oh, 
And look at what jumped out. We have the Empress, which is a very positive indicator. It is one of abundance. So that takes you right back to here. And she's powerful. Things flow to her like happiness, joy, abundance, love. So it's a beautiful energy of how you two are together. So you have this potentially um, idea that you want everything to go wonderfully and everything to be smooth and, you know, flowing. And this is saying, hold your vision. Don't let it go. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have justice. Okay? So this is talking about make for sure that you keep everything as balanced as possible that will help keep this a smooth transition. Okay? Now let's go ahead and get an energy for the potential outcome. So it's really good. Both of you are ready to get something started. You're more of the, um, say, you're not a master of something, or you're not a master of some aspect of something that you are wanting to pursue, okay? And here, it doesn't refer to any of that, but it talks about that they are very passionate, and they really want to get this going, but they're hesitant. So they need to release something. Okay. Clear out the clutter. Alrighty. I, some of these um, spirit animal cards just tickle me. Uh, sorry. I can't help it. You know, clear out the clutter. And I'm sure what they're referring to is not... The clutter in one of your rooms of your house. It is if there is anything in your relationship that is challenging, say an example would be that there's been arguments for two years, right? Clear it out. You know, get together, talk about it, remove it, come to the agreements so you can go and find this beautiful energy that you want. So it's going to take some clearing of past hurts, challenges, that sort of thing. Okay. Now let's get a tarot for that. All right. Okay. Yeah, clear out the clutter. And this particular energy can be one of training, competition, arguments. So it's saying clear out anything that has kept you separated or kept some sort of a challenging energy between you going. Clear it out. Get rid of it. And, of course, the best way to do that is if it's trivial, and a lot of arguments really do fall in that category. You know, just like squeezing the toothpaste at the wrong end of the tube kind of situation. Those are easy. You know, well, supposed to be easy. Um, but here, especially the things that have been really hurtful or have stuck with you, those are really the big ones to work through and come to an understanding so you guys can let it go. And letting it go doesn't mean, you know, keeping it in the back of your head to bring it back later, right? And at the bottom of the deck from taking this card, uh, I hope you can see this, I'll put it right here, you have strength. So, and this is for both of you. This is saying both of you are very strong and compassionate and loving. So you both can definitely go through this. And there's really, 
The only potential negative is this, and it's how you interpret this. And it might not be a negative at all. So far, everything here is really lovely. And remember here, don't forget that one. That is saying, look at the bigger picture. You know, the toothpaste tube, right? Look at the bigger picture and see what it is you want. And according to this, you guys really do want things to work out in a beautiful way. So, hold that vision. Okay, I do think we should get a couple of cards for nothing will come in this situation to see what that means. Like I said, it can be challenging or really positive. You know, the positivity part would be, say if your feelings got hurt a while back, and maybe they didn't mean it. Maybe they didn't even realize they were doing it. That would say that nothing's going to come of this. No ill will, etc. Okay, let's see what comes up. For nothing will come from the situation. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I'll put this right here. This is talking about you, yourself, rising up above that. Okay, so yeah, this gives me the feeling that whatever this was, was either trivial or you've really thought it through a lot and come to peace with it, whatever it may have been. Um, an example would be realizing that this person didn't know, didn't realize that what they were saying could have been hurtful. And yes, that does happen. But whatever the case... You're rising above this. Okay? So, in other words, you're leaving whatever the challenge was in the past. If it was a challenge. Okay, let's see another card. Okay, I think it's this one here. Ah, oh, the tower. Okay. Well, something's definitely going to come in this situation. Yeah. Okay. So, this is saying it might very well take a tower. And since it's about you and them, that tower would definitely include them. Yeah. Have a tower moment. You know, bring it up to them. And come to an understanding. See why what happened happened. And like I said, there's a lot of times where people don't even realize that they have said or done something that does not set well with another. It depends on how aware they are. Okay. And beautiful. This is the very same energy that you have right here. So... I just pulled these out, you know, when I pulled them out. But what this, to me, really is saying is whatever has happened, if you bring it up, you know, and then this is an abrupt change. So it might take a, a stronger moment where you say, hey, this is something, you know, be upfront, um, that really hurt my feelings, for an example. And we need to work through this. So, you work through this, and everything is okay. They realize that what they said was hurtful. You realize, and now mind you, this is an example, that they didn't realize what they said was hurtful in any way, shape, or form. I don't know about you, but I know me personally. I've had that several times in my life. I find it baffling, but, you know, I'm an emotional person, so... And some people are not so much. Okay, and this energy is the same as yours. So this is saying that you are getting past whatever this is and you're still ready to go forward. So that's beautiful. All right, now let's see what the universe would like to share. And I do have to say this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, hold your vision. 
This actually gives me chills. It does. And I don't get chills with every reading. Mm -mm. It's a beautiful future if you and them decide to go forward with it. But you do have to clear out what comes to me is that closet. You know, you've got to clear that out. Mm -hmm. Deal with whatever issues have stuck with you and them that have created this separation, right? You know how it goes. One little thing adds up to another little thing, and before too long, you have this big barrier. So, you've got to deal with that part of it. Okay. You have the Five of Swords, and this is an potentially talking about this right here. You know, arguments, um, differences, challenges. But here, they are coming out the victor. So this is saying, yeah, you guys go through this, deal with those arguments, and you're going to come out just fine. Beautiful. You have the King of Cups, and this is Probably the first I'm looking. No, it could be the first, second, third indicator, potentially. Definitely this one, that this could be a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be. But this particular energy talks about that there could be a very good, strong, romantic relationship in your life. But it's also talking about being in control of your emotions, not ignoring them by any means, feeling them, dealing with them, but never allowing them to control you, right? You stay on top of them. So it could potentially mean both, you know, that this is a romantic relationship. But to me, regardless of the relationship type, the biggest message here is work through whatever this is but try to not let the emotions reach over your ability to work through. Because as soon as um, somebody's emotional self just goes over some deep, dark edge, communication really does stop and you have to take a break. Maybe that's part of what this means right here. You know, <laughs> take breaks when you need to take breaks. Okay, let's get one more. Fabulous. Okay, this is the King of Wands, and the King of Wands goes for his passion. And he is the king, so he's as high as you can go in the wands, right? And the person or people that this is about is starting with the ace. And here's the king. So they are graduating all the way from the beginning to mastery, right? That's a big deal. And it also involves you. You're able to do the same thing, you know, use this energy to get what it is you're passionate about. <laughs> and lovely, at the bottom of the deck, you have... The Nine of Cups, which says that you're going to be very happy with the outcome. Beautiful. I think this is a lovely reading. And I love you. It's huge. Okay, now we're going to do something a little different. This kind of relates to this part. We're going to get some letters and, you know, just take a look at them and see if they mean anything to you. It could be like your initials, their initials, state abbreviations, um, any particular words that might apply, right? So, let's see. Oh, I managed to get exactly nine. Imagine that. Okay, so we'll just take a quick look at a few of these and see what we come up with. Okay, you have Jill. So that could be somebody's name that's involved in this in some way. 
you have nil, you know, which kind of means none or empty, zero. Let's see, Joe. Somebody could be Joe, J-O or J-O-E. X-O, that means kisses and hugs. Null, N-U-L-L, -L, no. Joan, J-O-N-E, and you also spell phonetically, that's great. Like maybe somebody's last name is Jones. We have an I-X, so the number nine. Take a look at these and see if you find anything that, you know, might apply to you. Like I said, this kind of goes in with this, and it might clue you in if you have any doubts about who this is concerning. All right? Okay, let's get one more thing. We're going to get some charms and see what comes up. Okay, here we go. You have a heart, and I'm going to... Put this on something dark so you can see it. So there is love here, right? Regardless of what kind of love, there is love here in this situation. You have the Golden Gate Bridge. And what that means to me is there's been work put in on this. And it ended up being beautiful, strong, and long-lasting. So, you know, take that, you know, and apply it to your relationship. Oh, and look here. There's another heart. So two hearts. Maybe this is romantic, which is beautiful. And you have, you know, on a teacher's desk, they have a cup and it's full of implements, pencils, scissors, erasers, who knows what. And so this is like, almost the equivalent of a multi-tool. You have everything you need to accomplish your goal right there with you. And the very best of the bunch is right here. You have the sun. And the sun is the very best card in the tarot. It is... Well, when I get the empress and the sun together, to me that is a very strong energy because they both have a lot of things in common. One, things flow to them and these things are all positive. Love, happiness, joy, abundance. So you have a wonderful future with whoever this is if you both choose to go down this road. You have some wonderful energies. The King of Wands, the King of Cups, and they're pretty powerful, right? And you have a few major arcana. So this could be a big deal. All right. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And if you like this, please give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments, hit the bell notification. It would all be really appreciated. Thank you so much. And this looks beautiful.